another tutorial on MATLAB. In this tutorial, we will see 3D plotting in MATLAB. So let's get started with 3D plotting in MATLAB. As we have already discussed, we have two types of plotting method in 3D plotting in MATLAB. It can be either a surplot, which is basically a surface plot, and another method which is called line plot in 3D plot, which is a plot3 command in MATLAB. In the previous tutorial, we have discussed about the surplot. To see that video, please press on the i button and go through how surplot work in MATLAB. In this tutorial, we will see how plot3 command works in MATLAB. Here t is the dependent variable which varies from 0 to pi which has 500 points. Based on the value of t, we can determine x, y and z value individually using different functions which is called as evaluated data. Now as we have the data, now we can proceed for a 3D plotting technique which is called plot3 in MATLAB. To have a clear visualization, we can see this plotting method as shown in the figure on the right side. As you can see, there are three persons standing on different axes. One standing on x-axis, one standing on y-axis and one standing on z-axis. At individual value of t, all these three persons will have different value of xt, yt and zt, all intersecting at a point in a three-dimensional plane which is highlighted in the figure. As we have 500 points in this case, we will have 500 3D points in the 3D plane. Then we can connect these points and get a line with the help of plot3 command. So this is all about plot3 command in MATLAB. Now let's dive into the coding part and see how 3D plotting looks like in MATLAB with the help of plot3 command. As you can see, we have defined the variable t. Then using the value of t, we have defined xt and yt and zt. Then using the plot3 command, we use the variable xt, yt and zt for plotting these variables in the 3D plane. We have used line width which determines what is the width of the line for the drawing and we keep it as 2 with the help of the command line width. We have given x label, y label, z label to label the x, y, z axis. Then we have given some title to this graph with the help of the title command. And at the end we have turned on the grids for the graph so that we can see the values appearing in the 3D graph. Once we execute all these section by section then we can see the graph coming out. If we select the third option in the graph, we can rotate this particular figure into different angles and we can see how the figure looks like from different angles. This is similar way we visualize surplot in the last tutorial. So this is about plot3 command in MATLAB. Next we will see bar graphs in MATLAB in the next tutorial. If you are liking our content, Please do subscribe to our channel and press on the bell icon for latest updated notifications. If you want to see other videos in our channel, please have a look.